Hey everybody, it's Gormley again. Looking at those of you who have done this before, you should be able to fly through this really quickly. Those of you who have not, we need to learn how to make a blueprint of the thing you have just made. Again, I have the Lego here that we've made. If it was anything else, uh, this video could be used as reference as well. But for a lot of things we do and make, we need to be able to make a blueprint so that you could give this to somebody else and they could make it again, just the same as you did. So I have my full shape here. What I'm going to need to do is go to new. And I am just going to click on new and come back to here. So because I drew my Lego in metric, I'm going to keep it at metric. And what you need to do, there are three types. We have our part file here, our assembly file here, and our drawing file here. Okay? So, right now you have your part here, but there's no reference of what sizes or anything is there. And so you can't just print this off and expect someone to make it. So, what we're going to do is come down to here to drawing. And you're going to look for the thing that has three views. And these will be our orthographic drawings here. So we have our top, front, and side view. We want ANSI. And it needs to have the file type of IDW. So this is MM for millimeters and IDW. So I'm going to double click on that. And it will take us a little bit for this to open up. Now if you have your file type or the file that you've of the shape you've made this should already be pretty preloaded but first thing that we have to do is set the sheet size right now you don't know what, how big this is and we want to be able to print this out on a regular piece of paper so we're going to edit sheet and we need size a eight and a half by eleven that's a regular piece of paper that you guys have so Again, size A, and I hit OK. Remember, the way I got to that, I went to Sheet, I right-clicked, and I went Edit Sheet. Show you that one more time. Size A, click OK. Now, you notice that changed some stuff here. My title block got really big, and I kind of just want to get rid of that. And so, I'm going to right-click on that and delete my title block out of there. Next, I'm going to come up here and click on base. This is going to get the shape that we want. So I click on that. And right here, this is the file that you want to get your base from. Now, because my Lego was already preloaded, it's already there. If it was not and I needed a different file, I could click on this. And then I can look through and see, oh, I might have a different file that I want. But right now, I already have that. So, once I have this loaded up, if you come over here, you see this shows up right there. So, you can tell that the Lego is very big. And so what I might need to do is change up my scale. So right now I'm at a 5 to 1. I'm going to see what a 3 to 1 looks like, and that looks a little better, right? So this is currently the front view. If I wanted to, I could change this to make it the top view or the left view, something like that. But I'm going to go back to the front view. And I'm going to click right down here once. And you'll see that it draws it for me automatically. It does it right away. If I move up one direction, that will give me the top view. If I move over, that gives me the side view. And then if I move up here, that will give me the isometric view or a 3D drawing. So first I'm going to come up here, click one more time. There's my top view. Click a second time. There's my side view. And then click a third time. There's my isometric. Now you might say, wait, didn't draw anything, Mr. Gormley. Don't worry. We are going to right click and hit create. And it automatically draws everything for us. 
For those of you who don't know and haven't had this before, dotted lines mean that these are things that are there that I cannot see. And so that kind of helps us understand that we've got these rings in here. Now some of you might go, well wait, it was really difficult. I need to know what those rings look like. So what I can do is I can, you see how the, the red dots show up? I can grab that and kind of move it here how I want to. And if I really wanted to, I could click on this, come up to projected. And now I'm back to, I have the option to, uh, to show my, my views again here and pick which ones I want. So I'm going to click right here, give myself a bottom view, hit create. And let's see if I can get these. I can move this up a little higher. And it looks like, I remember I can zoom in and out. This might not fit too well here. So there's a couple of things I can do. I can scale this down and restart it go edit view and i want to scale now of two to one we'll try that hit okay and see now that shrinks them all down that makes it a little easier for fitting some stuff here i'll we'll get that to, i can edit this view um where are we edit view We'll take this down to one to one. That'll give us a lot smaller. Now, we do want some space because we need to be able to put our measurements. Remember, we're trying to make a blueprint here. So we do need measurements. And I'm going to click that. I actually want that a little bigger. We'll go two to one. Hit OK. Now, when we do measurements on something like this, we don't want to put any measurements here. We're only going here. So the next thing that we do, I need to be able to dimension all this. Now, this isn't different from dimensioning our part because it's already drawn. We just need to record it. So I go up to annotate here, dimension, and then it's real simple. Like say I want the distance from this, to this there it is and I drag down click and it draws it up for me so let's say yeah and just hit okay say I just want that click hit okay from here to here click hit okay and we want all of our measurements. So I get this circle. Oh, don't want that. Want the radius. There we go. Drag that out. And that's pretty self explanatory. When you are done and you get all of your dimensions on there, what you'll need to do is go to save. And you will save this either as an IDW, which is a drawing in your documents. You can do that, which is good because then you can come back to it. So I can hit save. I can also export as an PDF or an image. So either one works. Uh, the PDF or the, the JPEG work really well because then if we have to turn anything in, you can go JPEG. You can save that and uh, turn that in on Google Classroom. And the PDF is really, or, the JPEG is really nice because then I can just see it right away on Google Classroom. 
So you need to know how to make a blueprint, how to dimension it. This will be on our tests. You also need to be able to 3D print our shapes, which is on another one of our videos if you haven't watched that already. Good luck on this. I'd like to see the Lego uh, with this drawing when I get back. And uh, we'll see how we do. Have fun, guys.